one thing is clear is that if we can do reforms now when things are good, when they're still when they're still growth, when, when you know when income levels are still rising, when you know employment is still picking up, I think that will prepare us for difficult times ahead. Because good times never last forever. It is encouraging to see a pickup in the global economic growth. This improvement, together with the pursuit of financial regulatory reforms, has contributed to a strength of the global financial system and boosted financial market sentiment. However, the build-up of financial risks outside the banking sector and the legacy of the crisis remain a concern for global financial stability. We have to press on with our efforts to enhance resilience of our economies. Action now will enable us to turn the current momentum into lasting growth that benefits and embraces wider populations. There is broad agreement that we need to design and adopt the right mix of monetary, fiscal and macroprudential policies. Indeed, we had a very good uh, session yesterday evening with the Honorable Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Mehmet Shimsheke, who was here yesterday and who spoke in a, in a state-of-the-art manner regarding the, the entire economic situation of the world and of the responsibilities of OIC. It was both in style and substance. It's the responsibility of all states to provide equal, equal opportunities to all its citizens. And in order to do that, we must give, empower them. And one of the most potent tools of empowerment is financial empowerment. Without financial empowerment, it will be very difficult for citizens to access the opportunities that the state makes available in the socio-economic sectors. With regards to Sub-Saharan Africa, we have seen that policy making has improved. However, a re response to shocks still remains problematic. Et nous voulons ici saisir l'occasion pour le renforcement de cette coopération et et inviter l'ensemble des pays islamiques à développer la, la coopération et à développer l'échange pour un développement économique meilleur, pour une meilleure stabilité du système financier qui reste encore, comme je l'ai dit, assez, assez fragile. So we are representative of the central banks, uh, of the members of the OIC countries gathered here to discuss sustainable, balanced and inclusive growth FinTech offers significant opportunities for us to further improve the delivery of financial services uh, to benefit both the consumers as well as businesses.